This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Ryan Garcia offers to step in for Mike Tyson if he's unable to because he had that health scare that turned out to just be an ulcer flare-up. Uh, but he offered to step in and fight Jake Paul. Uh, would people really tune in as much? No, people want to see Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. That's what's going to really sell it. So, <clears throat> nah, Ryan Garcia just wants the bag. <laughs> Uh, Wool Vicky says, ban porn, ban alcohol, ban cigarettes, ban weed, because she's just stepping on the Candace train, right? Eh, let's be honest, okay? Uh, this girl is messed up in the head, okay? I saw a video of her dragging her drunk mom out of her uh, apartment the other day. I, uh, Wool Vicky's like a little slow, man. She was, her, her, I think her mom was uh, drinking something. <laughs> on the uh when she was about to be born i'm gonna be honest with you i mean we don't know allegedly but hey <laughs> uh it seems a little spooky i must say uh this this girl there's something definitely definitely wrong with her but anyways uh let's move on to the next one uh so we got uh, YK Osiris. Everybody's doing boxing. And YK Osiris called out like 2C and DDG to fight, right? Duh, bro, nobody cares about your fighting or anything. Uh, nobody's challenging you to fight. Uh, nobody you got to get back on singing bro and like you're not able to drop any hot songs right now i don't think drake messes with you anymore uh you should have gotten to something out of him at that point because damn yk osiris is just too confident for the situation he's in too confident for the situation he's in um then we got Let's see. What do we got next? Sorry, I'm just going through random news. Oh, uh, Seichi's said uh, this is the new sentencing dates for O Block 6. January 14th, 15th, 16th, 21st, 23rd, and 28th. All the different guys in there. You know, I'm going to be honest. With you, they deserve a lot of time, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh... They savagely killed FPG Duck. I'm not saying he was completely innocent guy, you know, but they got caught in the act. Like they almost displayed it for the courtroom. I mean, it's almost like they wanted to get caught, you know? It was dumb. ASAP Ferg drops trash. New song called Romello. I think he changed his name to Fergalicious, too. Uh, please be honest. I was just saying this is a trash song. And the video is trash, too. It looks like it was filmed in 2004, maybe 2005. It was definitely like a early come up DVD video. And you, there's no excuse for that nowadays. Bobby Schmurda. Bro, I, I'm confused about Bobby Schmurda. He keeps getting booked with no new songs. He has one song, maybe two. Bobby Bitch. And then, uh, of course the hit record he has but it's like you're still getting booked in dubai off of that i don't know he hasn't come up with nothing since he's been home he just does zesty little videos who is this rapper they let this is lefty right lefty gunplay they compared him to takashi right i'm surprised oh yeah is this his name yeah, Lefty Gunplay almost walked off the podcast after Bradley Martin compared him to Takashi. <laughs> That's disrespectful. The feds have uh, reportedly obtained surveillance video showing uh, his ex-worker being victimized by Diddy inside his homes. They're in the process of contacting more individual identified in the tapes. This guy's an idiot. He kept all the evidence. Where did they get this photo? Was this was this seized too? This is a spooky photo. I've never seen this before, nor did I want to see this. No Diddy. And Murder Mook goes at Joe Budden. Basically, because Joe Budden disrespected uh, 
when Murder Mook got arrested, he disrespected his apartment. He says, your apartment looks dirty or something. That was uncalled for, but I think he was kind of coming at him about the whole, you know, you're, uh, you're a battle rapper and, you know, <laughs> why do you have no money? I don't know. Because Murder Mook talks like he has a lot of money. I don't know. Joe Budden also went at, uh, he talked about the Drake references coming out, and he said this is probably because Drake doesn't mess with those writers now, but why are they coming out now? I don't even know if they're real, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is just a coup from XO and a bunch of other people that want to take Drake out. And that's what's going on, man. Like, I'll be honest with you. But, and then he also talks about that Apple list and it's trash, and it is trash, you know? The order of those albums and the top 100 albums is just, you could tell somebody that just didn't know music. You can't do that with one person. You got to take a vote, you know, on the order at least. Pick 200 albums, pick 300 albums, have people vote on them. So what's the top 100 and which ones rank where? Have 100, have, there'll be plenty of people that make their own list out of 300 songs, right? I mean, 300 albums. And that would be more accurate, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Anyways. Um, this is George Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.